The Consumer Price Index, also known as CPI, is released on a monthly basis, usually mid-month, and is most widely used for a measure of tracking the price of a weighted basket of goods and services purchased by households. Now, weighting is attributed on the basis of general consumption patterns in a particular country, and therefore will differ somewhat geographically. Now, given the volatile nature of food and energy prices, central bankers and traders usually base decisions on the core consumer price index, which does exclude food and energy components. This helps them give a clearer picture of the underlying price dynamics. Price stability is the primary goal of central bank policies, which is why CPI is such a closely monitored indicator in the first place. Acceleration in consumer prices is called inflation, deceleration in consumer prices is disinflation, and contraction in consumer prices is called deflation. Now, individual central banks have their own target bands beyond which the monetary policy should be adopted in order to bring inflation back in line with their target zone. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the global macroeconomic context in order to interpret the CPI reading correctly. If the consumer prices trend below the central bank target, a rise in inflation is perceived as positive. Japan, for example, they've been fighting deflation for over a decade. Therefore, a faster inflation in the Japanese economy will likely generate a positive market reaction. Now, conversely, the Brazilian economy struggles with fastening consumer prices, which deteriorate households' purchasing power and may therefore have a negative impact on growth. Brazilian consumer prices grow two times faster than the central bank's inflation rate target. In the past few months, Brazil's central bank policymakers have repeatedly said that they want to reach the 4.5% centre of the bank's inflation target range, which is between 2.5% to 6.5%, and they're looking to reach this by December 2016. Because of this, this has led some analysts to anticipate that borrowing costs will remain on the rise until inflation coincides with that middle target, despite poor economic conditions. In conclusion, the perception of consumer prices is dependent on the macroeconomic context and the expectations. Due to the self-fulfilling nature of price dynamics, the inflation expectations are very important to extract the general feeling in the market and also to predict future trends in prices. For traders, the most important benchmark is market expectations. Now, analysts reveal their expectations on a monthly basis, and the average is known as the consensus. There are several factors that influence analysts' forecasts. The leading ones are supply and demand dynamics, currency prices, oil and commodity prices. There's also fiscal and structural measures that also play a key part. Now, the consensus will determine whether a CPI read is strong or soft, while it is the macroeconomic context that will actually define whether a stronger or softer read is perceived positively or negatively by traders. The Eurozone is a really good example here. The slowdown in economic growth and slide in oil prices pushed the Eurozone economy into deflation and triggered massive quantitative easing from the European Central Bank, which was accompanied by negative interest rates to boost demand and inflation back to 2%. A year-on-year -year core inflation read of 0.9% versus 0.7%, as tiny as it may sound, triggered a significant positive market reaction in the European markets and also led to a rapid euro appreciation as a knee-jerk reaction. <laughs>